Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you some coins I picked up from my favorite pawn shop. Uh, I uh, picked up some regular uh, list fillers and a couple more collector's coins. Uh, <clears throat> first I picked up this 1977P that's toning you can tell next to that 1981P that it's toning a nice gold color nice looking coin next I have a 1979P that's also toning couple little blues in there I have a 1981P with no toning on it nice looking coin found this one all by itself in a ripped cello uh, it's a 1968 S proof like a mirror very nice and then this was my find of the day 1964 proof with a mint tag or mint button or whatever you want to call it still attached to it nice mirror like Some of you may not know, this year, in 64, the proofs were actually made in Philadelphia. Just like the regular business strikes, except they had a better quality die that put out this mirror finish. Very nice coin. Got to be really good friends with the pawn shop owner uh, now instead of standing on the front of the counter. I can now go behind the counter, sit down at a desk, and go through the coins instead of standing up and taking up counter space and going through the coins. So there you go. 64 proof, 68 S proof, an 81 P business strike for a list filler, a 1979 P Toning for a list filler, 1977P for a list filler, and I've got some more coins that I didn't have enough money for on hold at the pawn shop. So, as soon as I come up with some extra cash, I'll make a video about those. But don't forget, if you get change, check that change. Because you never know what you got in your pocket. Till you look.